Ray Phoenix and Penta L0M. You may know as Pentagon Junior. Pentagon is under a number of different names, but courtesy of legal battles. <laughs> Say that again? Courtesy of legal battles. All right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just stick with Penta. It's easy enough. Yeah. I'll say Penta. But uh, one of the most dynamic luchadors in professional wrestling today, and when you put him in there with his brother, Ray Phoenix, I mean, it is uh, something special to see. They've gone one-on-one -on -one with each other at times. Yes. They've tagged together as they are today. I mean, two of the most... Hard-hitting, dynamic luchadors in professional wrestling. And listen, sometimes you, you, you see Lucha Libre and you say, you know, it's not as hard-hitting as maybe, maybe I would like. Sometimes, oh, you know, it's, it's a little light. Some, some mind <laughs> not, games not, not Phoenix here. and Penta. No, sir, not with these two. Ask uh, the dozens of people whose arm has been broken. Divorced, wow. torn asunder by Penta if the luchador style is a little light. They just walked in. They just walked in the door. Uh, how many shows do these two have this weekend? How many events? They're probably just finishing up a match well, right that, now. That's, that's exactly what, uh, what I think Dan was saying. Yeah, they... they Oh, that they've been on Bourbon Street and their gimmicks. That's amazing. Bourbon Street has been wild this week. You couldn't turn around without running into a pro wrestler. So here we go. These uh, two of the top luchadors in wrestling today against two of the maybe most understood, two of the most understood competitors. I've never shared a ring with uh, Penta and Fennec Phoenix. Did I say understood, misunderstood? Yeah, yeah, that's all right. I knew what you meant. I've shared a ring with Teddy and Jack Evans. I can tell you that they are they are a unit even when they're apart. They might even be. They don't wrestle as a tag team as often as most people, but they have a history, and that history is going to show itself tonight. Jack Evans is a guy who uh, he kind of lives off the grid, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Sp Sp yeah. Sp spends his time in Mexico, and I don't even know how he gets. And I don't mean this in, in a weird. I don't know how he get booked. How he gets booked because you can you can't get a hold of him. Smoke signals. That's the trick. A lot of people don't know that. You have to send smoke signals to Jack Evans, and he will find his. Like way. he doesn't have a phone. I know he doesn't have a checking account. It's it's really bizarre. Apparently he doesn't need one. I have student loan debt. Oh. Hey, the bookers hey, come to him. That's... Oh. <laughs> He just told him how to get to Bourbon Street, I think. I don't speak Spanish. Have you been to Bourbon Street this week? Oh, way too much. Yeah, you're, you look a little, you uh, yeah. again, a late night. You? So Bork, you been out there? Oh, uh, once or twice, yeah. Had some good times. Uh, ran into some weirdos. The bags under my eyes are filled with Jameson, guys. <laughs> to be honest, I haven't been once. No? No. It no. smells like vomit uh, and fear. Yeah, vo vomit yeah. and did shame. You say, did you say it fear? Vomit fear. fear? Yeah, you never know what person who shouldn't be naked is suddenly going to be naked. <laughs> Tell you what, though, the, the oysters on the half shell, good, quite there's, delicious. There's also a taco joint that I can't say the name of, but it was phenomenal. Why can't you say the name of it? Well, it involves the word tits. Oh, well, you just said it, so. Oh. Big tit tacos? Yeah, it's, it's pretty something. Ooh. 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 Well. Well, enough about tacos. Let's. Oh God! Now I know why Jack Evans lives off the grid. Why is that? Uh, because I don't think he can exist in normal society. <laughs> can you... Kicking the belly button. Oh, he is vicious. We didn't get our test of strength, guys. No, it's for the best. Pass by. Phoenix is, uh, wow. Evans is trying to show up, Phoenix. I think that's all this is. The two men are trying to show who's better. Quick cover. Bridge up by Evans. Down into the cover there. Quick hook of the leg. Power out by Phoenix at one. And oh. That's the thing. Evans an incredible athlete, absolutely. But Phoenix does things I have never seen anyone else do. His balance, his, his agility, he's so light on his feet. But still, 
a powerful force inside that ring. Yeah, but you know what? He didn't smoke a pack of menthols before this match, and Jack Evans did, so who is the better athlete? Tag made to Benta L Zero M, who forehead to forehead with Teddy Hart. No love loss here. Well, that's the thing. I think Penta very uh, intimidating to a number of wrestlers, but Hart not backing down at all. I don't think Teddy knows what intimidation is. Literally, I don't. I don't think he knows. Oh. Saying he went to public school. I'm sorry. Absolutely. Teddy Hart. Showing his cat students. scratches on the back of his dome. No respect, Did he bring his cats with him on this trip? Yeah, I think he rode them here. Ooh. He rode his cat here. He's got a cat that that's large. Uh, that's that large he could ride here. I thought it was a cat-drawn oh. carriage. Basically, oh. Yeah, I, I, I picture it like the Alaskan sled dogs. Just a, a whole, a whole, a whole team of cats. Just yeah. Oh, Mush. Cats in the back. No effect. Hey, Teddy Harden. Oh. oh! Straight jacket, double knees. And Jack oh. Evans, wow, corkscrew kick. How do you land on his feet? I don't know. That's cat life. I can't. He blows my mind. These two operate on a, it's a different plane. I don't mean an airplane. They like, they operate on a different, they, they see things we don't see. It's, it, it's fascinating, isn't it? Evans and, and Hart, oh, I mean, look at that. <laughs> I don't know how he even thought to do something like that. That's, exa that's exactly what I'm Set saying. Where do you cut? It, they're artists. They really are. And like, you know, Teddy Hart, you say, oh, you know, misunderstood or whatever. Like a lot of artists, you could say he's tortured. He he has this mindset from pro wrestling that a lot of people don't understand. I think including him. Ooh, Phoenix fighting back. <laughs> Teddy Hart not taking any of it. Jack Evans whipping Phoenix over to the corner. Well, Hart and Evans in control right now, you guys but guys, see something never seen we before? can't forget. Phoenix and I'll Penta are just two brothers, actual brothers, and that sort of chemistry cannot be matched. Two guys who started <laughs> trading on the very same days. Now Evans goes after the eyeballs of Phoenix. Were those flips really necessary? I think he's just being a piece of shit pur on purpose to rub it in people's faces. He doesn't like the flavor of the week. Phoenix. Flavor of the week? Welcome, Jack Evans has been around how long? God damn it! What are, I don't know what is happening right now. He, say, he sounds like the guy at the bus stop who's just yelling at himself. I think he was yelling at Stryker. Was he? Yeah. Oh, maybe, yeah. What the hell? Oh. Canadian Destroyer! Oh, 50! Effortless! Teddy Hart up top, moonsault! Wow! <laughs> I think Teddy tried to tag him while he was in the ring. Uh, what a combination of moves by Teddy Hart. It's actually more of a code red into that, uh, into that moonsault from the top. Uh, do we have no rules in this match? I don't know that Bryce Remsburg wants to get involved. Yeah, I think he's just there to uh, make the count. He's here to make the count and stay away from everyone because he doesn't know when he's going to land it on. Tags, let's go. <laughs> yeah, to make, make the tag. Let's go. <laughs> haven't been a tag the entire match. Look, yeah, Bryce is. You can't. How are you going to manage this match? No. Uh -oh. oh, this could be the tumble lead. Evans off the top. Oh! Oh! Good God. He could have killed Phoenix. Oh my God. What was it? Or Penta, I should say, Phoenix had to break it up. Well, you know, they're brothers. He could have hit Penta so hard and uh, he killed Phoenix. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, really. Oh! No love lost here. <laughs> the, Lucha, the Lucha brothers, they're getting pummeled by Evan oh. and Hart. Phoenix still has something left in the tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right back to the eyes. It's in the wrong corner. You might want to get out of there. Come on, let's go out of there. Oh, the rules are different in Mexico. I didn't realize. Oh, can't flip with no legs. Penta with a swift kick right to the. Uh, I'm going to give him a Charlie horse. There's a, there's a nerve that runs out the side of your leg, and if you kick that right, you lose feeling in your foot. And I think uh, Penta's trying to target that. Well, it's an effective strategy. If you can slow these guys down and keep them from going aerial. You've, uh, you've at least got a chance. 
Lucha Brothers wind it up. Teamwork from the family. Double, Double super, super kick. Up and over in the corner. Penta ducks through. Oh! Kicks right in the face. Kicks right Oh my back. god, what a super kick by Penta! Phoenix going up top. I don't know what is about to happen here. What? What on earth was that? What a combination! Everyone in this ring is so creative as a pro wrestler. Coming up with offense you never thought of. Oh my god! Cover! Teddy Hart got hit right in the face. Maybe an unintentional cover there. Yeah. What would you call that? A wheelbarrow what? <laughs> I don't know. It's called fuck something you take it. Yeah, something in Spanish. <laughs> yeah. But Jack oh. Evans trying to get his wits about him. Absolutely, Jack Evans taking the brunt of that impact. Teddy Hart getting it right in the face. We have uh, uh -oh. Penta going for what appears to be a surfboard. Oh, this is so uncomfortable, but so much pressure on the shoulders and the knees. Stretching out Evans. Oh. And Henry Phoenix with a chop to the chest for good measure. A little whipped cream on that Sunday. Oh, what is this? Are they gonna double up on this on the surfboard? What? Nope, I don't I don't there's no way this is gonna work. They're trying. They're trying. Unbelievable. Humphrey no, Bryce Remsburg not having any of it. That's, doesn't know what to say. Teddy Hart with a fist to the side of the skull of Ray Phoenix. What does Hart have in mind here? Oh, oh my god, Spike oh. DDT. Right at the top of his head. Penta back to his feet. They're oh. going for something. Counter from Penta. Teddy was going for a double underhook driver, I, I believe. Penta able to, no, oh, tuck under the close eye, connects with a, sl with a sling blade. And now Penta. Penta's so quick. Second turn, Buckle. Oh. There's a Canadian destroyer. And, and it destroyed a Canadian. Let me distract New Orleans. Near fall at two, Jack Evans in there to break it up. The commissioners are uh, being taken outside so they don't see this. Oh, Evans, yeah, I mean, uh, maybe too many, oh, too many hours spent on Bourbon Street on top of being beat down earlier in this matchup combined. And now one more time, gonna try it. Yes, connect. Oh. Cover. Hold on, Phoenix, able to break it up off the top turnbuckle. Beautiful springboard counter. Phoenix right now his back to Teddy Hart, because I think Teddy Hart will just straight up attack him for head of nowhere. Teddy leaving. Ooh, Boo right out of the corner. Ooh. Springboard roundhouse kick. Phoenix rolls through. Cutter! Wow. Head first! Took some time going into the cover. Teddy Harden to break it up. I would say Teddy Hart snuck into the ring, but those pants are not sneaking anywhere. <laughs> no, they're so loud, I think they could uh, hear him across the street. Teddy Hart sneaking over the ring. Referee, uh, referee's doing his best to, to take charge here to uh, to no avail. He has made the decision. Oh my oh. God! Oh. Double, what are you, double knee power bomb? Power bomb lung blower, I guess. Shades of Tomas and Ciampa. I don't even know who, who's legal. Does it matter? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't I think think not in this match. I think Ravensburg's afraid to say. Oh. 630 out of the corner. Wow. 630, Santon into the covers. Had enough to put it away. Evans trying to. How? Force Phoenix down for the cover. The two and a half count. Teddy Hart getting a little furious. Three, three. Official standing three. up for himself. Well, he's got to do something. These guys are basically walking all over him. Uh oh, here comes Teddy. Sneaking up to the top rope again. Penta lurking. Oh. Penta shutting down Teddy Hart. What could this be? Oh. Power knee. bomb into the, into the knee, cover. Phoenix. Lining up Teddy Hart, connects. Sure you can. Shane's a street fighter. 
Penta not uh, letting go of Jack Evans has him set up. Maybe Pentagon driver, yes! Wow. Cover! This could be a double pin. That is it. Got him. What started as a flashy exchange turned into a straight up fight as all four men just tried to drop each other in the head as much as humanly possible. Two of the most electric and exciting luchadors in professional wrestling today. They get the win. Penta L Zero M and his brother Ray Phoenix here today at Pancakes and Pile Drivers.